fragrance that I smelt in store and I fell in love with it. It is Tabacla by Dior from their Privé line. I absolutely fell in love. It was a love at first sip and I'm going to share my thoughts with you guys. If you love fragrance just like I do, please don't forget to subscribe, hit notifications and like this video. It really does help to support my channel. Okay guys, so this is the bottle here. It's a very typical Dior bottle from their Privé line. They all look identical. This bottle here is a 125ml. It's simplistic, it's chic, and it looks gorgeous. You can even get a subscription of your name on it as well, which I thought was really, really beautiful. Okay, so as I mentioned, guys, I went into Dior and I sampled actually several from their Privé line. This one was my absolute favorite. There were some close contenders though, um, but when I kind of walked away and went back, that was this one was the one that I kept thinking about and really, really stayed with me. Okay, guys, so while the fragrance dries down on the test strip, I will read you guys the same notes. Top notes of tobacco, tobacco leaf, honey, and smoke. Mid notes of plum, oriental notes, white tobacco and amber and base notes of peach and citrus. This fragrance, guys, is a sticky, sweet, yummy, honey, plummy tobacco scent. It is rich, it is decadent, and it lasts. I'm talking like I put it on in the store and I only sprayed a couple of sprays and I could smell it on myself even after showering. It is so strong, but so good. I do get that beautiful, fresh, unsmoked tobacco leaf through the entirety of the fragrance, but that gorgeous, plummy fruitness and sweetness really does balance it out beautifully. My only issue with the fragrance, despite absolutely loving it, and I mean adoring it, is the eye-watering $600 price tag. After all, this is not a niche fragrance, this is a designer fragrance. But at the end of the day, I justified it because I loved it so much. I do definitely find this fragrance very unisex and it is got some smoky element to it, but it's not overbearing. It is not one of those fragrances that remind you of a campfire or, you know, overly smoky elements in it. It's just really far back, I would say, last row. And I think it complements that really syrupy sweetness very, very nicely. It's definitely a mature tobacco fragrance that is unapologetically sweet. Like almost toothachingly sweet, but there's something about this one that's so elevated where it doesn't cross over into that cloying, juvenile, you know, adolescent territory, which some sweet, you know, when something's very, very sweet, sometimes it can bridge over there. There is nothing young about this scent. This is for a grown person. Honestly, you guys, this is one of my favorite tobacco fragrances I have ever tried up to date, and it really does absolutely make an impression. While it won't be for everybody, like no fragrance really is, there is going to be a large audience that obviously adore this scent, which there is, but don't blind buy, guys. Even though I loved it and a lot of people do, it's always best to sample first. Okay, so freaks, so I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, in conclusion, obviously, I loved this scent. Um, as I said, I probably smelt about 15 from the Privé line in Dior when I went. And while I loved so many of them, this one was the one that stayed with me well after I left. I mean, it just wouldn't let me stop thinking about it. Longevity and projection is paramount. Uh, do I think it's worth the money? That is the question at hand. When you really love a fragrance, and I mean adore it, it had the type of impression that it did on me. I mean, that's gotta be worth something, right? But $600 a bottle, I don't know, that's a lot of money. Have you guys tried this fragrance before? Please let me know, shoot it in the comments below and let me know what your thoughts were. Thank you so much, Zen Freaks. I love and appreciate you all, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, guys.